With a look inside Maricopa Community Colleges, this is Maricopa Now. Here are some of the stories. High school students are getting a taste of the culinary program at Scottsdale Community College. Nature over Netflix. See why these students chose a different path for spring break. Plus, perfecting your pose. A yoga teacher training program begins at Scottsdale Community College. And there's so much more on this edition of Maricopa Now. Welcome to our show. Thanks for joining us at Chandler Gilbert Community College. I'm your host, Kim Getz. Taking what she has learned and experienced back home to share with others and to teach. For the former Miss Indian SEC, that's what she plans to do after finishing her education and life's pursuits. Renee Blatte has her story. She was crowned and served as Miss Indian Scottsdale Community College for 2016 and 2017. And with it, Alicia Jordan became a role model, a responsibility that helped carry her important message, not just throughout the Scottsdale campus, but all the way to her home in Navajo land in Northeastern Arizona. I wanted to make raise awareness to, for domestic violence because it's really high among the native women on the reservation. Along with representing her tribe, her duties included sharing her culture, promoting engagement with the community, and representing Scottsdale Community College. A busy schedule of public appearances can be overwhelming for someone who was naturally shy. Jordan admits she was challenged at first, but knew she had to overcome it and get out there. I took the shyness away. I got out of my shell and I just started talking to people, having conversations with them, and it got easier. Having the title made me more like a mature person and to step out of my shell, so it made me do these things and to just grow as a person. Jordan knows the value of an education. She wants to finish her work at SEC and continue on with the hopes of one day working in the criminal justice system, even becoming a U.S. Marshal. Her ultimate goal is to return to the reservation and give back. I am going to return back to my hometown, the Res or Windrock, and I'm actually going to become a teacher there to teach my Navajo language and culture. A native tongue she speaks fluently. When she relinquished her crown to the new Miss Indian SCC just a few months ago, Jordan offered an appreciation and thanks in the language her grandmother taught her. Shanala Hastin at Archiches Chili Walia, Shamasana E Maggie Jordan Walianit at Shiche E. Frank Jordan Sr. Waliana Tamp. She was the person who taught me about my culture. She made me learn the language. Learning our language and culture is dying out, so she, she's there like a key component in my family. Following a successful reign as Miss Indian SCC, Jordan is reflective, confident, and hopeful. Being in a more diverse um, environment is actually a lot better because that way you share like your culture with them and then they'll be able to share back with you. Alisa Jordan says she was very proud and honored to be Miss Indian SCC and while it wasn't easy she knew she had to pass the title on to someone else. I was like holding on to my crown like the last few weeks I was like I'm sorry you have to go to someone else. I'm Renee Blatte for Maricopa Now. Scottsdale Community College is bringing high school students into the kitchen and hoping they come back for more. As Lisa Aquafreda shows us, High School Demo Day is an experience that's preparing them for their future. Look guys, look what we have here. Beautiful rack of lamb and a little baba. This is gonna taste great, it's tender, it's expensive. You want some? Yeah! yeah. The heat is on inside the kitchen at Scottsdale Community College. You want the eye to be attracted to it, right? Remember this whole thing about you eat 50% with your eyes, okay? Students What's from that? Dobson High School watch, learn, and practice their culinary skills as they get to see how a real kitchen operates. It's all about bringing them here, showcasing our facilities, showcasing our instructors, and having them work with products that they might not get a chance to use at their home school as well. I guess we're recruiting, much like athlete, athletic programs are. That's what we're trying to do, you know? Come watch us play. <laughs> do you want to be a part of this team? <laughs> wow, it's a lot to take in, you know? People shouting. It's a busy work area to be in. From prepping the food to serving the food, these high school students get to do the entire process which not only sparks their interest in culinary arts, but introduces them to the SEC program, plus 
they could be a future student right here in this class someday. I am showing my advanced students, my second year culinary students, that there's more out there than what I've shown them so far. We're probably the best value, bang for the buck, that you could possibly get in any cooking school in this country. So especially since we get to prepare it ourselves, it's going to be hard work paid off. <laughs> Hands on is everything. That's why we're so rich in the labs, you know, our four, six hour labs every week. That's rich time that you're touching food, cutting it, cooking it, playing with it. Instructors are impressed with what the students are doing. I think they did an amazing job. What's going to be fun is having them in the dining room talking about what they made, what they created, and seeing the expressions on their faces as they uh, enjoy their lunch with us. According to ChooseRestaurant.org, they project 15.7 million restaurant industry positions by 2025. And that's what the SEC High School Culinary Demo Day is all about, connecting students with careers in the industry. For Maricopa Now, I'm Lisa Aquafreda. Coming up on Maricopa Now, Scottsdale Community College introduces the only college yoga instruction program in the state. Most party fouls are pretty dumb. Even. But if you decide to drink and drive underage, you could lose your license and your freedom. Underage drinking and driving, the ultimate party foul. A decade of war has taken an unprecedented toll on our men and women in uniform. Hundreds of thousands of our veterans are suffering from the trauma of war. At Justice for Vets, we believe that every veteran should have the opportunity for treatment, and restoration. Get involved and go to justiceforvets.org. Help put treatment within reach of veterans in crisis. Veterans fought for our freedom. Now it's our turn to fight for theirs. It's not your typical spring break hotspot, and these are not your typical students. At Australia Mountain Community College, a group of students came together for an alternative spring break. This is going to be great. It's spring break, but this is no day at the beach. These students are heading out for another day of hard work on the Maricopa Trail system. We didn't know if students would want to commune with nature instead of Netflix. Um, and they came out, and they came out in droves. We really appreciate all of you coming out here. A partnership between EMCC and the Maricopa Parks and Trail Foundation led nearly 30 students to choose an alternative path this spring break. Their motivation for being stewards of this 6.6-mile section of trail at Tres Rios I want to be a wildlife biologist. Being out in nature is one of my favorite things to do, and now I have another trail to hike, so it's a win-win for me. They're out here, sleeves rolled up, they're pounding posts. Yesterday we picked up 33 bags of trash, eight spare tires. Clean trails and new signs will help visitors navigate their way through this area. Much better out here. While students gain a sense of what it takes to maintain a trail system. You're on the right path. Everything is well managed. Everything has a purpose. And everyone here has a hand in making a difference. I like the physical part because a lot of people don't think that girls can do it. And I'm showing them that I can. And then BioBlitz, so I get more knowledge about what's out here. The BioBlitz involves students cataloging the biodiversity they find in the area. The data they collect is uploaded to a global database. There's people from Ecuador and India and all over the world that are contributing data points. And so from our little corner of the world, we'll upload a bunch of species data. Rathel says getting in touch with nature offers some lessons that just can't be found in a textbook. These are genuine uh, young adults that are interested in growing and learning and, um, and serving. As this spring break adventure comes to an end, students leave this trail better than when they arrived. Getting to work on the trails is, is pretty great. Reporting for Maricopa Now, I'm Kim Getz. There are 16 million children struggling with hunger in America. This is a serious problem, but one we can solve. Visit feedingamerica.org to help. Together we can solve hunger. Together we're feeding America. Sure, I look cute now, but when my owner lost his job, it was rough. I was living on the street, and one night, me and this Cocker Spaniel got into it so bad, I wound up looking like an ice cream cone. 
I cried a little bit, but thankfully I got rescued, so I'm running, I'm jumping, all back to my old self. And I'm ready to give unconditional love, even if you put a lampshade on my head. Mesa Community College is on the forefront of technology, offering an eight-week blockchain technology certificate starting this fall. Blockchain is the fastest growing technology in business today. The Harvard Business Review says that blockchain will have as much impact on us as the internet does today. Classes are hybrid, which means that you spend less time in the classroom and more time doing work online and outside of class. For more information, visit Mesa Community College's website. My right, right, yes, yeah. okay. <laughs> Gateway Community College's ophthalmic assistant program offers free eye screenings throughout the year. Community members receive a complete vision examination and glaucoma screening. Eye screenings under the supervision of instructors are performed by students who graduate soon. The next screenings are in October. For more information, call 602-238-0088. Another free community event is Mesa Community College's Art Walk. Take a stroll through campus to see more than 30 pieces of art created by students, faculty, and celebrated artists. For more information, visit this address. Scottsdale Community College's 19th Annual Spring Painting Exhibition is here. It's on display through April 5th in the Art Building Lobby. The exhibit features oil and acrylic paintings by advanced students. Following this exhibit is the Best of Artists Competition and Exhibition. It begins April 9th and continues through April 26th in the Art Building Lobby. For more information, call 480-423-6340. Enjoy an evening of art, music, dance, and more at the Artists of Promise Gala and Exhibition. Student award winners from the Maricopa Community Colleges take center stage at the Herberger Theater, Wednesday, April 25th. This free event begins at 5.30 p.m. with an art exhibit and reception, followed by performances at 6.30 p.m. For more information, visit this address. Scottsdale Community College graduates Stephen Avlos and Garrison Jones are making their dreams a reality. These successful musicians share their love of music. Welcome to Spirit of the Arts. I'm Andrea Zakszewski. As you listen to the music of Steven and Garrison, you will hear and feel their excitement and passion for being able to do what they love. Steven's gift is playing the drums and Garrison's the piano. Musician Garrison Jones has been playing the piano since he was a kid. After playing and composing several different types of music, he decided his favorite was jazz. Found a teacher, Raul Yanez, that was a, a prominent jazz pianist in town, and he was teaching at SEC and he was playing, and I went to go see him at a club one night, and I loved his playing. Garrison has some advice for aspiring musicians. Okay, kind of cool. Never doubt yourself and always take Take the advice from your peers and from your instructors and uh, don't let people tell you that you can't do what you want to do. Garrison believes a really important aspect of attending Scottsdale Community College was being around a lot of musicians. I met Steven Avalos and we started to, we were in class first. We had a jazz combo together and from there we would meet up outside of class and jam together. Steven discovered his love of music at Scottsdale Community College. He felt like he had finally found his calling. He describes what it's like to be a drummer. I feel like as drummers we're fortunate enough to have a very strong power in controlling the way a, a, a song or a piece feels, the way the rhythms interact with each other. Steven's advice for musicians. I feel like the only way you can create like really genuine art is if you give yourself up to that art 100% mind, body, and soul. Steven started getting more and more gigs, so he decided to quit his regular job and work full time as a musician. He had a lot of encouragement from his peers and teachers, 
at Scottsdale Community College. Garrison and Steven formed a band together with vocalist Holly Garrison called House of Stairs. We've made this musical bond just from playing together for so long. It's really unique because Garrison plays the role of two people in our group in that he plays the bass with his left hand and plays the keyboards with his right. It really helps create our distinctive sound. House of Stairs is jazz-based and draws from funk, soul, and pop influences to create a progressive soundscape. Their band plays across the valley and features their original music. In between performing, the band always makes time for practicing at their studio. Stay hungry to learn. I think that's like maybe the best thing that you can do. Always be open to learning. I find that I, if I can get like a half hour to an hour of practice a day that's really focused, then I can really like be ready for those gigs. See them perform at such places as the Nash, the Vig, and Casimira's Wine Bar. They are excited about their success and look to the future. We want to travel and kind of just share our art with people. It's a good feeling to be able to create music that other people can listen to and enjoy as much as I love and creating it and enjoy making it for that purpose. You can support yourself as an artist. I am fully supporting myself. It's possible, you know, it takes the work. The Maricopa Community Colleges offer classes that help foster the career of such artists such as Stephen and Garrison. Instructors believe that graduates often serve as an inspiration for current and future students. If you've thought of studying music, perhaps these musicians have inspired you. For more information, go to scottsdalecc.edu. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Spirit of the Arts. I'm Andrea Zakshevsky. Open road, here comes the Hefley family. Whether it's a short trip or a long haul. Estimated time, 47 hours. They will beg. You're hungry? I'm happy to provide. They will plead. Deep, Deep fried, fried butter, butter on, on a stick. stick. But whatever you do, don't wimp out. Now you're talking. Make them buckle up. They can't hurt. Remember, safety first. Cheese curls. Second. Are you orange? Six children in the U.S. struggle with hunger. Help end childhood hunger near you. Learn how at feedingamerica.org. At Gateway Community College, students are getting hands-on experience in the high-demand field of surgical technology. Elizabeth Eckel brings us this story. Surgical technology is a challenging, fast-paced, and rewarding career. Although you may not be familiar with what a surgical technologist does, they play a critical role in the operating room. We are the ones who know the instrumentation for the specific procedures, the correct types of draping, the ways to um, keep a sterile field. We're the ones next to the surgeon handing off the instruments, handing off the supplies. A critical role that students don't take lightly. Everything in the OR is based on what's best for the patient. The patient comes first, and we also want to make sure that everything that happens in the OR for the first patient of the day is the same as it is for the last patient of the day. Gateway has designed an extensive two-year program that prepares students for a career in the OR. So when they come through our program, they'll graduate with an associate's degree and they'll also have a national certification so they could go anywhere in the world and work. From the classroom to the operating room, students are getting a hands-on experience. We really like to mimic a true real-world operating room. Then and only then can I put my instruments on my back table. 
in the OR, we're learning everything from top to bottom that we need to know, uh, all about the equipment, all about the supplies, all about uh, our jobs, but then also additionally all about the jobs of everybody else that's in the room so that we can help. Gateway's surgical technology program is one of the best in the country. Instructors bring their real-life experiences to the classroom. I like to give nothing but real-world scenarios and things that we've seen and, and have actually had happen, and I think the students like that. I love it here at Gateway. I do. The teachers are great. They really care about us. They want us to be the best per people that we can be, the best surgical technologists that we can be. My patient in the room yet? With an excellent job outlook, there's plenty of room for advancement in the field. There is room for advancement. They can go on and get a bachelor's in surgical technology, and they can also choose to go to nursing school. So if you're looking for an exciting career in the medical field, check out Gateway's Surgical Technology Program. Today we're going to be doing an angel food cake with fresh strawberries and whipped cream. And before we start the recipe, make sure your oven is preheated before scaling out your ingredients so that when the cake is in the pan, we can put it immediately into the oven. We're going to get our other ingredients prepared. Sugar number one. So what we're going to make is a French meringue. French meringue is a raw meringue, and there's three major things you need to remember when it comes to meringue. You want room temperature egg whites, you want clean equipment, and you don't want any egg yolk in your egg whites. We, we call that getting goldfish in your egg whites. I'm going to begin the meringue by adding the egg whites to a mixing bowl. And I'm going to whip these at medium speed. And what I'm looking for is the meringue to create what looks like soapy bubbles. I have not added any sugar yet. I'm going to start adding sugar with number one, the cream of tartar and salt now, very slowly on medium speed. So what I've done is I've brought the egg whites to a medium peak. They have tripled in volume, they're glossy, yet yeah, they're still soft, they aren't over whipped. And when I take my whip and put it in a bowl and hold it, I have what looks almost like a bird's beak. And that tells me that the egg whites are ready. You can see how it just kind of droops just slightly, but they're gonna hold their shape for the most part. And at this point, I want to just fold the remainder of the ingredients into the meringue. I don't want to deflate all that air that I put into the egg whites. So I'm just gonna gently mix in that vanilla. And then I'm gonna add sugar number two and my flour in two different stages. I'm going to add half to begin. And when I fold, I'm picking up that flour and I'm kind of shaking it out a little bit so I don't get lumps. And once I get that first part of sugar and flour mixture together mixed about three quarters of the way, I'm going to stop and add the remainder of the flour and sugar. I can no longer see any lumps from the sugar or flour. I got a nice smooth meringue, and that's going to hold my cake as it rises. I then have my ungreased pan. And the reason we don't want any grease in the pan is we want this meringue. It's a very delicate sponge that we're making here, and we need that to cling to the sides of the pan. If we had any kind of grease in the pan, while those egg whites are trying to climb up the sides, they would just slip and slide and fall rather than rise. Before this goes into the oven, I need to level it off. I don't want to tap it on the bench. If I tap it, I'm going to release air, and I need that air for this cake to rise. So I'm just going to go to my bowl scraper and just turn that cake pan to help level it out. And then a thumb and a finger around the edge to clean it up a little bit. So we're ready to put this into the oven, and we have one of our students here helping us today, Marie, and she's going to put that in the oven and bake that off. Mm -hmm. 
While our cake was baking in the oven, we made some macerated strawberries. What we did was slice the strawberries, add some sugar and Grand Marnier, and we let it sit at room temperature for about an hour. And you can see that we formed a nice syrup on the strawberries, and that's gonna go well with the cake. So our dessert is finished, angel food cake with macerated strawberries, and I'm going to re-invite one of our student assistants to help us taste this. Marie? Pretty good, huh? Pretty good. Chef's Menu is brought to you by the Culinary Studies Program at Australia Mountain Community College. For today's recipe, please visit this address. Scottsdale Community College is the only college in the state of Arizona to offer a yoga instruction program. Those who are interested in teaching yoga can earn an occupational certificate in this accredited program. Deanne Kincaid has the story. After years of athletics, Terry Dequina came to yoga for relief of aches and pains he felt in his back, legs, and ankles. Every time I maybe take a break from it. The ailments seem to come back, but every time I start up again, I get relief. Jordan Hansen has enjoyed practicing yoga for the last eight years. Practicing makes me more self-aware, both mentally and physically. She's now studying to become a yoga teacher to combine that with her job as a behavioral therapist for special needs children. There are older kids who need help with posture because they don't have the body awareness that I can help knowing the benefits of yoga. At Scottsdale Community College, the public is invited to enjoy yoga classes as well as follow a program to become a yoga teacher. Tony Kobat wants to introduce yoga to people her age and older to learn what it can do for them as they age, being able to maintain some abilities that they otherwise might not be able to. Carlin Sykes teaches yoga students how to become yoga teachers themselves in a four semester program. They get a certificate from Scottsdale Community College and they also become registered with the Yoga Alliance when they complete our program. They can then teach in health clubs, private studios, or start their own business. Students can also follow a two-year program to be certified in yoga therapy. This class focuses on therapeutic modifications of asana, and to understand that, you have to have a requisite knowledge of asana. Sykes explained that asana is a yoga pose, where to put the feet and how the body is positioned. Allison Easter has practiced yoga for 15 years and is now eight months pregnant with her third child. I'm taking this class as part of my ongoing training to be a yoga teacher. One of the things for prenatal yoga is to facilitate the birth and the health of the baby rather than to focus on the strength or flexibility of me. As students become proficient in teaching yoga, the public can enjoy free yoga class for the students to fulfill their practicum requirement. It's the magic of teaching, how you inspire someone to practice and want to learn something that you're passionate about. For more information about the Yoga Teachers Training Program, visit scottsdalecc.edu. I'm Deanne Kincaid for Maricopa Now. And that's our show. I hope you've enjoyed it. Be sure to stay tuned to MCTV for our great lineup of shows, including Inside Maricopa Sports and Enfoque in Two Futuro. Also, check out our website at mctv.maricopa.edu and click on DestTube. DestTube allows you to watch this show and all of our regularly produced programs anytime you wish. Until next time, take care. <laughs>